We don't control the vast majority of stuff that goes on in this world, but we control how we respond to it. Do you know, Viktor Frankl was a marvelous man. He wrote a great book, Man's Search for Meaning. And in that he said, you know, in every situation, between the situation and the way we respond to it, there is a space. In that space, you have time to determine whether you're gonna react or respond. Now the space may be a millisecond, one hundredth of a second, but in that space, you can decide how you're gonna handle a situation. When you react, you have given the power that you've got your God-given power, you've given it to the person or the situation that you're reacting to. The only real power we have in the world is choosing our response. We can't choose what happens to us. We can get stuck into situations where we are abused, where we are not treated fairly, um, where any number of bad things can happen. And so the only choice we can make is how to respond. And I find that that knowledge gives me so much freedom because if something bad is happening to me that I can say is beyond my control, I can say, well, at least, you know, I have the power in my response to show the world what kind of person I am. So the world is always going to throw things at us and there's going to be feedback given to us at all times because life is nothing more than a series of at bats. Everything we do is just another rep. It's just another at bat and every at bat we get gives us some type of feedback. And if you want to be a high performer, if you want to be a high achiever, if you want to raise your game, then you have to choose to take every single thing that's thrown at you and use it in a way that serves you and moves you forward. Instead of choosing to use it in a way that cripples you and moves you back. You and I can choose and we can determine and define our reaction that yes, we will make mistakes and yes, challenges will come. And yes, there will be these moments that we will re want to rewrite history. But I'm telling you tonight that if you'll choose your response, if you'll decide now that I'm gonna react the right way, you can actually learn and grow from your moments and your mistakes. So it's never about repressing your emotions. It's about understanding your emotions. And this is the single most powerful thing you can learn in your life. Every time you get a strong emotion, you don't immediately react, 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 react to what people are giving you, which is what gets you in so much trouble. Mm. Gives you no control over your life, right? So just that half a second of stepping back and going, is this a real emotion? Am I really, am I really angry? Am I really excited? Is it something that I'm getting up from social media? Is it something that pertains to me and my individual life? Or no, it has not, it comes from some other source. You have no idea the power that comes from just that ability to step back. Feedback in and of itself, please know, is completely unbiased. It's sterile. It's not positive or negative. It only becomes positive or negative when we as human beings choose to associate emotions to it. When you can depersonalize it and step away from all feedback from a personal standpoint and say what from this can I use to make myself better and choose that consistently as opposed to how can I use this to regress and move back, you'll be well on your way to being a high performer. And the choice is always, always yours.